good afternoon from downtown Disney, Disneyland, California Adventure. Welcome back to the Exploring Yeti. That is our channel. It's a very, very warm day. We're uh, just coming out of the tail end of a heat wave up here. And as usual, your boy here, Yeti, overdressed. So I'm in like long pants, this thick uh, button up shirt, and it's just, it's just plain old hot. Anyway, we started today with uh, down here at Downtown Disney. That's where we're gonna start our exploring today. Today's a solo adventure. So I'll be here by myself, exploring the park, checking out what's new, eating some food, checking out some snacks, riding some rides, doing the thing, you guys. All right, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to The Exploring Yeti. That is our channel. Coming out with you with new content coming up soon. And as always, let's go out and explore, you guys. Let's have some fun here at Disney. All right. One of our favorite restaurants over here is Black Tap. That's this restaurant right here. Uh, the Greg Norman, I think that's the burger. It has blue cheese, uh, arugula. Uh, it's very, very, it's delicious. So if you get a chance, come up here and visit Black Tap because it's delicious. All right, you guys, last thing we're going to do before we head into the parks, we're going to check out the World of Disney over here. And we're going to see if there's any new button-ups, of course, that they have released. Uh, if we see something new that we really like, guess what? We're gonna buy it today. <laughs> no questions asked. Check out this button up, guys. I think I just bought this one not too long ago. Uh, you know, I might have to text my wife and see if I did indeed purchase this one, but I think I bought this one. I do like it. I'm not gonna buy two, because I think I have it. Let's move on. Check out these uh, parts of the Caribbean. Mickey ears. These are super cool. Look at the detail of that emblem up there. Wow. All right, check these out. These are like little pizza ears. Cool, guys. Looks like a little uh, picnic table or picnic cloth. Yeah. Wow. They got a lot of stuff for uh, Electrical Main Street Parade. Check out this little uh, pullover hoodie. This little sweatshirt. That's cool. If it was like a full hoodie, I would probably buy it. Oh, look at this one. This little like villains one. It's a little sweatshirt. Oh man, I know someone who lives in Europe who would love that. And if you're watching, Morgan, I know you'd love this. <laughs> Check out this denim jacket. It's uh, themed to Electrical Main Street Parade. Ooh, check out the back too. The back is super awesome. Let's take a look at that. Wow, cool, cool. And they have like a whole bunch of Disney stuff out. I haven't seen this, this is all new. Check out these shorts. And then we got a tank top over there, and then we have the uh, lounge fly bags at the very bottom there. Kind of fuchsia colored, but those are cool. I like them. We got some tie-dye stuff. We have these uh, yellow Mickey ears as well. I think I saw those last time we are up here. I'm gonna purchase the shirt today, and I think I'm gonna take this on our next little adventure uh, coming up very, very, very soon. I think this will go well with the jacket that I'm wearing. <laughs> All right, let's go up to this and head into the parks.
right, everyone. So, well, we made it over here to Splash Mountain. Um, I forgot that this attraction was actually a single rider attraction. So we're gonna check and see with the uh, cast member over here and see if they're offering a single rider today. Because uh, sometimes they close the queue when you're not allowed to ride single rider. I learned that a couple times the hard way. <laughs> if you guys remember like that one single rider uh, vlog, uh, they closed the queue for single rider over at Indiana Jones. I wasn't able to ride for like an hour, hour and a half, and then they finally opened it back up. But we are over here. It's piping hot, piping hot Arby's out here. Um, let's go check and, and make sure we can ride single rider and let's go cool ourselves off you guys it's a warm day Whew. all right so I did talk to the cast member they are offering single rider today so what you got to do is head through the exit over here and then once you get up to this exit just let them know you're doing single rider and they'll guide you to the appropriate place to go all right hey look here's single rider queue right here all right let's go check in and again, there's another cast member over there. It says single rider right above, and they'll just direct you to go to the exit. All right, so for today, they have us waiting like right over here. The ride's right over there. I have uh, like five people ahead of me for single rider. So I'm gonna have to put, every put everything away real quick, guys, because I, I don't want to get all this stuff soaked. <laughs> so I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, we have turned a 55 minute wait to a like a 10 or 5 minute wait. It wasn't even that bad. We're already on the ride. Back row, baby. Back row. All right. kids that was splash mountain we didn't get like soaked or anything now that we're cooled off and uh, let's head to our next attraction we're over here by uh, rise of the resistance i want to check on the wait times of rise and also smugglers run stay on this side of the park so we're not crisscrossing the park too much unless unless like space mountain is like a 40 minute or less wait then we might crisscross the park all right, let's head on over. Let's uh, check out Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance. Explorers, so I'm looking at the wait times. It's a 50 minute wait for Rise of Resistance. I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in line, wait the 50 minutes. We got all day, you guys. We're here until closing. So, they're not even using this part over here of the queue, which is very interesting. I don't know if this is gonna, this is gonna be a 50 minute wait. It might be shorter. So, let's hop in line. 
time is like 5.12. Hop in line like 5.13. One more minute. All right, let's do it. All right, everyone. Time is uh, 5.53. So we didn't wait quite 50 minutes. We're in the ready room now. So this is the pre-show building or pre-show room. And I I'd say this, this is the traction more or less. I mean, we're not on the ride, but you know, we're close enough. We have uh, returned back to Resistance Base here in Batu. Batu, 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 Batu. All right, that was fun. It's always a bonus when we can get a ride on Rise of Resistance. Not even a long wait. So, total, a little over an hour and two minutes from walking into line, riding the ride, getting off the ride. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, everyone. Um, let's see, we're gonna go over to Smuggler's Run. I'm gonna ride that. We're gonna do single rider over there, Smuggler's Run. And then I think it'll be time for some food. So we're gonna do a mobile order, grab some food, take a little break, and then continue on our day and see where it takes us from there. Right now it is 6.17, so we still have a few hours until the park closes. Let's go over to Smuggler's Run, let's hop on that, enjoy that ride, and then let's go grab some food after that. Alright, all right, you guys, it is supposed to 35 minute wait, but we're going to do Single Rider. So we're just going to check in over here with the cast members and then we're going to head over to Single Rider. Engineer for the day, not a pilot, that's okay. We piloted like the last two times we went on this ride, so I'm happy to sit in the back and you know, do the puzzles and everything. Welcome aboard the Millennium Falcon, everyone. Let's go get Hondo some coaxium. Get a high score today. What do you say? Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Who did this? My goodness, it wasn't me. You guys are watching. I got 100% on the engineer. Okay. Alrighty, kids, explorers, everyone. Smugglers run, done and done. I think it's time to go get some food. If, uh, if we had eaten earlier, I would say let's go over to uh, Olga's Cantina, grab a couple drinks, but I'm not gonna drink on an empty stomach today. Um, I think I'm gonna head, I don't know what sounds good really. Let's walk around, let's, let's look at some menus, get some ideas on what we should eat first and then we'll, we'll do a mobile order. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. And as the sun sets and we end our time here in Batu, we're gonna hop on over to California Adventure. That's where we have ordered some food. We're gonna go over to Smoke Jumpers and grab a burger over there. And then we'll, uh, we'll start our, our exploring of uh, California Adventure. So with that said, we're gonna say bye to Disneyland for now. Our uh, mobile order time is at seven. So we got eight minutes to walk over there or so. I can make it over there in 10, probably, maybe a little bit less, depending on how foot traffic is gonna be. But let's head over to California Adventure, grab some food, hydrate, grab a bite to eat, and then enjoy California Adventure. Maybe we'll close out that park. It's, it's, it'll be seven, so it'll probably be like 7.30, 7.45 by the time we're done eating and then we'll, we'll go walk around, hang out over there. All right, guys, let's go for a walk.
Alright, we're here over at Smoke Jumpers. The line getting into California Adventure was long, but the line getting into Disneyland is even longer. So that makes me think I'm going to be over here uh, to close out the park. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff over here to do, of course. I'm waiting now to uh, get my food. As soon as I get my food, we go have a little, little break and we go eat. All right, let's go enjoy, uh, enjoy our food, have a little breaky break. All right, here's what we got. Of course, we got a diet soda over there. We got our condiments, a little bit of ketchup barbecue over there and some ranch in the back and then we got the um the chipotle barbecue burger so that looks pretty good i'm gonna dive into that take a break I'm gonna rehydrate here got some water ready to go chill for a minute and because it's been a very very hot and humid day so i need to actually finish at least half of this for now but after that, we're gonna be free to roam about the park and hang out and do some exploring. I think we're actually gonna go over to cars and ride cars. Do the single ride over there because it's been a while since we rode cars. Anyway, let's enjoy this burger, you guys. Enjoy the ambiance of smoke jumpers. All right, everyone. That is game done and done. I demolished that burger. I didn't eat all the bun though. Um, I get halfway through the bun and I'm like, I don't need the bun. So I just ate the, uh, what was in between the buns. <laughs> and enjoyed that very much. I'm um, still working on my water here, but I'm done. I think I'm gonna get up and start walking and head over to my next attraction, which is gonna be cars. And it's turned out to be pretty nice evening so far. Again, over here by Smoke Jumpers. Enjoying my burger. Let's go for a walk, you guys, and find the next attraction. All right, well, we have made it over here to Cars. Uh, Radiator Springs Racers, that is. It is almost 8 o'clock, and guess what, guys? Single rider line is closed. There's a big old chain right in front of the entrance right there. It is a 120-minute wait, so maybe... Let me check the wait times of other rides and then maybe we'll come back for uh, for single rider. Yeah, that, that's a bummer. So I'm trying to figure out what else to do. I think I might head over to Incredicoaster, but the standby line is even backed up all the way over here almost. That's the uh, standby line right over there. So. Let's look, out, look at wait times, let's, let's formulate a plan, and then we'll, we'll go through with it. I'd really like for Single Rider to open up, but I think it's way too busy right now. So, maybe Monsters After Dark? Yeah, let's go check out Guardians. Looks like they opened up the single rider line, so we're gonna head on through the single rider. It's probably gonna be a bit of a wait because they just opened it back up, so there's a lot of people flooding the single rider. But we're gonna go ahead and do it, and then we want to do. Oh my goodness! Single rider's backed up all the way over here. I'm doing this for you guys. Just want to let you know. <laughs> Alright, update. We are 30 minutes in waiting on the single rider. And we're almost near the front. We're like really, really close. It's been a long way, you guys. Good thing it isn't in the blazing hot sun. Glad we rode this during the evening. But if single rider is moving pretty quickly, lightning lane was moving quicker. That's okay, it's lightning lane. So we probably trimmed off, well the wait time was two hours. And we trimmed off a good chunk of that by doing single rider today. So even if single rider is backed up, just, you know, if you're gonna do it, just go ahead and do it. It'll be worth it. All right, 30 
six minutes of wait time. That's not bad, you guys. Pretty good. Next time, next time. <laughs> All right. Done and done. Raiders Springs Racers, we did not win our race, unfortunately. Right now, Web Slingers is supposed to 20 minute wait. I would be happy to go over to Web Slingers. And I do want to ride Guardians, which is a 110 minute wait, so almost two hours. There's no single rider for Guardians. I don't want to wait that long to ride Guardians. I'm going to bounce over to Web Slingers, see if it's still a 20 minute wait by the time I get over there. If it is, we'll hop in line for that. And we're going to see if the, uh, the wait time for Guardians Monsters After Dark drops down to like maybe a 40 or 20 minute wait. That'd be great. Well, it looks like they just opened the queue back up. So it, uh, the queue is filling up pretty quick. What else could we do, guys? Or we could just head over to the Guardians and just wait. It's been a while since we have rode uh, Monsters After Dark. We're here. Might as well do it, right? Now close this out for the park, and then we'll bounce over to uh, to Disneyland and close out that park. All right, you guys. So um, it's still a 110 minute wait. It's probably not the best use of our time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in line here, and I'm gonna wait. Time is nine o'clock. Hopefully it won't be 110 minutes. Hopefully it'll be like 75. That'll be best case scenario because they have the uh, extended queue going outside the attraction as well. But it is Monsters After Dark, so we gotta do what we gotta deal with, you know? All right, let's hurry up and wait. All right, everyone. It's been like an hour lapse or hour time since we stepped into line, and we're just now getting into the lobby. This will probably be our last ride here at California Adventure, and then we're gonna head over to Disneyland. But it is wow. It's been a while since I actually had to wait almost to post the limit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys. Uh, hour and yes i am hello <laughs> hour 13 minutes uh not bad not bad could be better right guys yeah. yeah that's okay all right guardians of the galaxy after hours here we go ah. with that we close out this park it's 1019 I didn't I, I'm not talking to you Siri go away <laughs> did you guys hear Siri I didn't hear Siri I didn't that there she goes again she's listening to me she's watching a vlog all right 1019 we close out this park here we're gonna head across the way over to Disneyland and see what kind of damage we can do here's what I would like to do in a perfect world get over there Go to Space Mountain, ride that real quick. Go all the way back over, ride Pirates, Haunted Mansion, and Big Thunder, Call of the Night. Maybe Indiana Jones, and in Indiana Jones. But we're on a walk, gonna head over, 1020. Let's take that walk back over to the main park. So I got a game plan. Siri, I am not talking to you. My goodness. 
Sue just keeps on chiming in today. She's, she really wants to be part of the vlog. All right. I'm going to go over to Big Thunder. Actually, Pirates first. We're going to ride Pirates because it's a 25 minute wait. And then we're going to head over to Big Thunder. We're going to wait out these other lines because Hunter Mansion is a 90 minute wait and uh, Space Mountain is like a 90 minute wait as well. So we're, I'm going to bank on those wait times going down and then we're going to hit those rides. All right, let's go over to Pirates of the Caribbean. I'll show you guys, I was eyeballing this shirt over here. It's a Tommy Bahama shirt. Not a really big Tommy Bahama fan. But wouldn't this be nice for uh, next time we go to Hawaii? I think so. How much is this shirt? Let's take a look at the price. Ooh, that's a steep Tommy Bahama price. We're going to avoid that. Even with the pass holder discount, no thanks. I'm good. All right. Let's keep going. All right, 25 minutes. 10.40 about, we're stepping in the line. Uh, looks like they're just using maybe just a single queue. Yep, just a single queue over here. So hopefully it's less than 25 minutes. All right, I forgot what time. My microphone was giving me hell. I don't know what's going on with it. But it's uh, 10.47. We got the back row of pirates, and oh, hey, look at that green light. You know what that means. Caribbean, aka time to take a nap. <laughs> That's a good ride. Some of the effects were turned off though, which was uh, I wouldn't say disappointing, but I thought they just went through a refurb. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, so uh, change of plans. Well, sort of, kind of. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Big Thunder and uh, take a look and see what the queue looks like. Big Thunder is almost a walk-on with we'll the Big Thunder. And then from what I saw, Space Mountain was a 30 minute wait, which is amazing. So maybe we close out the park with that. For some odd reason, everything works out perfectly and we can make it back to this side of the park before closing. We'll do that and then Haunted Mansion will be our very last ride of the evening. But let's go over to Big Thunder and hopefully it'll be a walk-on, which would be amazing. It's supposed to 35 minute wait though. So here's hoping for some magic. All right, well the posted time says 45 minutes. I'm hoping that it's not 45 minutes. It doesn't look like it's 45 minutes. I don't see it backed up very far. So if it is 45 minutes, we're gonna walk out and we're gonna head over to space. All right, on second thought, <laughs> that, that queue line's a little bit longer than what I wanted. So we're out of there and off to Space Mountain it is. It is a posted 30 minute wait. We're gonna put that to the test. It's 11.15.
30 minutes for Space Mountain. All right, I don't know you guys, this looks like longer than the 30 minute wait. Cause this whole inside queue is filled to the brim. Filled. All the way. Check that out. Yeah, everyone's waiting. They saw a 30 minute wait and they rushed over here. boy so you guys it's almost midnight 11:56 now and we're off on the ride i thought it was going to be ghost galaxy i guess it isn't so i guess it's just regular space mountain which is fine great way to end the night all right let's launch into space everyone that's game right there it's 1204 so the park is officially closed they're, they're kicking everyone out the stores and they're finishing up all the last rides uh, that's it that's it we're gonna head towards the front maybe we might stop and well actually no we're we're done all right I just ran into some new subscribers hey pleasure running into you guys today Hope you guys enjoyed the channel. And like everyone, if you're new here, you know, like, comment, subscribe to Exploring Eddie. All right, everyone. Well, I think we should end things here for the day. Thank you guys for exploring with me today on our channel. We did quite a few things, Rise of Resistance, Smuggler's Run. Then we went over to California Adventure. We had a big old meal over there, burger. And uh, what else? We then went over to Cars. We uh, rode Radiator Springs Racers and then Single Rider. Bounced over to Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we came back over here. We rode Pirates. Decided not to ride Big Thunder. And then we rode Space Mountain instead. So that was that's a recap of the entire day. Um, it was a good day, you know, not bad. It's crowd, it was a little crowded, but that's okay. That's why we come back so often. So, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to the Exploring Yeti. Again, that is our channel. Lots of big exploring to come. And we have so much in store for you guys. Uh, I, I can't wait. So, let's head home. Remember to be kind and be safe. And drive safe, everyone. Thank you for watching the Exploring Yeti. And we'll see you guys again. Have a good night, everyone.